Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In November 2021, the fourth submarine of Calvary class called INS Vela was commissioned into Indian Navy. The submarine was deployed across the Indian Ocean region which included extensive patrolling in the Bay of Bengal as well. It returned to its home port at Mumbai on 15th October 2022 after a record 8 and 1/2 month long cross coast deployment the sustained deployment was in the view of increasing chinese naval presence in the indian ocean region now today the fifth and second last submarine of calvary class called ins vagir has been commissioned into indian navy the navy now operates 16 diesel attack conventional submarine which includes 5 calvary or scorpion class 7 sindhu ghosh or kilo class and 4 sishumar or type 209 class of submarines the last submarine of calvary class called vakshir is in last stage of construction and is planned to be inducted by the year 2024 Now under the project 75 India has built six conventional diesel attack submarine based on the French Scorpion class design the diesel electric boat running on battery power and electric motors are the quietest submarine and most difficult to detect their smaller size further makes their detection challenging and near impossible without risking of being detected and attacked by them The six Scorpion submarines are being built under Project 75 by MDL under technology transfer from Naval Group of France under a 3.75 billion dollar deal signed in October 2005. These are the most advanced and newest submarines in the fleet of Indian Navy. The state of art technology utilized in the Scorpion has ensured superior stealth features such as advanced acoustic absorption techniques, low radiated noise levels, hydro dynamically optimized shape etc and ability to launch a crippling attack on the enemy using precision guided weapons it can perform variety of roles such as anti ship and anti submarine laying mines intelligence gathering and surveillance the calvary class submarine has a displacement of 1615 ton when surfaced and 1775 tons when submerged it can reach top speed of 20 knots when submerged and a maximum speed of 11 knots when surfaced. The submarine has a range of 6500 nautical miles at 8 knot speed when surfaced. The hull, fin and hydroplanes are designed for minimum underwater resistance and all equipment inside the pressure hull is mounted on shock absorbing cradles for enhanced stealth. These submarines also have an advanced permanent magnetic synchronous motor as its propulsion motor to talking about its armament the submarine is equipped with six 533 mm torpedo tubes for a combination of 18 heavy weight wire guarded german made surface and underwater target sut torpedoes and sm39 exocet anti ship missiles by mbda or 30 mines in place of both The Exocet missile has a range of 50 km which enables submarine to go into action while remaining out of the enemy's detection and weapon range. It features all weather capability, sea skimming flight, solid propellant and a high kill warhead. The class is also fitted with mobile C303S anti-torpedo decoy for self-defense. The weapon systems and sensors are integrated with submarine tactical integrated combat system or subtics it has a sonar system and is capable of low frequency analysis and ranging enabling long range detection and classification the submarine's attack and search periscopes are equipped with infrared low light level cameras and laser range finders these submarines have highly advanced combat management system and a sophisticated integrated platform management system There are plans to integrate DRDO's EIP with the submarine during refit program planned to commence from the year 2025-26 onwards. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai Hind. 
will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.